Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Basically, Alex, Control Pew, what is it about? Uh, you know, we're, talk we're probably going to spend a lot of time talking about uh, 3D printing. Yep. So tell us what uh, Control Pew is all about. Who are you? How did you get into this? Yeah, the, the gist of Control Pew, the, the sort of, you know, top level of it, it's about making your own firearms, being able to manufacture those things which you had to deal with the government to buy before. You can now make in your home, you know, in, in more or less the privacy of your garage or living room or small midtown Manhattan apartment without any oversight or permission required. Um, that, that's that's the heart of it. Um you know the the, uh, the 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 other part of it's you know we're leveraging a new technology um, that's relatively inexpensive in in like you know industrial manufacturing. Um, it's relatively easy to start, and uh, it's relatively cheap. So you know what people assume cost ten, twenty, thirty thousand uh, dollars actually costs less than three hundred bucks. So yeah. less than most of us spend on a, a on our hobbies on any other hobby. I mean, you can get into for, you know, for, for, for less and then just make all the guns eventually. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to actually, I'm going to uh, stop here for a second from what we would usually do, just because there's kind of some like breaking news coming through here. Um, I don't know if anyone else has heard of this, but Babyface P is currently texting me and he says that the ATF has dropped the, the, uh, the, uh, They've dropped the uh, or their the SB criteria withdrawal notice. They've put that out there, so it looks like they're uh, they're they're pulling back on this brace thing. Um, here, let me see. I'll throw this up. I'll share this with you guys here on the screen. I'll share my my screen with you. Um, and this is from ATF.gov. It says SB criteria withdrawal notice twelve two three twenty. Stabilizing brace. ATF is announcing the withdrawal of a notice and request for comments entitled Objective Factors for Classifying Weapons with Stabilizing Braces that was published December 18th, 2020. And uh, let me see if I can click on click on that there and open it up. Um, they're, they're just closing it because they got sick yeah. of everybody saying suck a big bag of Richards. Yeah. Now... Yeah, now I know they they uh, I know there were some folks out there. First of all, let me just say, I don't believe in in uh sending letters to them. So I haven't been doing that and I know there's been people complaining that they haven't gotten um enough letters. But then also I think one of the things we were going to talk about once we got into normal mode here was that I think 90 congressmen sent them a letter. Here's the truth about guns talking about that. I'll throw this article up real quick. Um, 90 congressmen send letter opposing ATF's regulation of pistol stabilizing brace. Um, so, and then it goes on to say 89 members of Congress sent a letter. The letter is here. It's addressed to Attorney General Barr and Acting Director Lombardo. Uh, it says, just the first paragraph, we write you today to express our deep concerns regarding the BATF. Um, recent notice for proposed guidance on a, on objective factors for classifying weapons with stabilizing braces. This decision is alarming and jeopardizes law-abiding gun owners across the country. And then if you want to see that, you could just skip through there and see all the people that signed on to that. So uh, before we before we like get you know get back to everything else we were going through here, what do you guys think about this? Uh, it sounds like it's a short-term win, I guess uh, you could say. Mm -hmm. um, I guess they, I guess maybe if the letter campaign. I know that a few years ago, I think it was in 2015, they did. Uh, a, they had a letter, a comment period for M80, M855 import mm -hmm. yeah. of ammunition, mm -hmm. and we were successful then. So maybe mm -hmm. they just saw, oh crap, people are actually paying attention to what they're, what we're doing right now. We're gonna have to like keep this on the down low until Biden takes over. Was like, didn't we have uh, seven and six at the same time as that M855 stuff? So, uh, yeah, but nobody then, cared about that. Yeah, that's, right. that's nobody cared about seven and six, and now you yeah. can't get it. Yeah. So, 
I don't know. It, it, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me. I'd have wished that the uh, the the outcome of this might be that the ATF actually publishes some 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 firm documentation on how they're going to determine what you know this unregulated part of a firearm is and how that then makes a firearm a more regulated fire i don't know it's all unconstitutional garbage right. yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's you never at, at, at least ATF. right at, at least give me some text to work with so that way we can have like lawyers come back and actually start slapping them with stuff mm-hmm. but this vagueness doesn't do anything for for, well, for the long game and it's very yeah. deliberate on their part, right, to do that? Oh, yeah. Think, they, yeah. They did it this time of year because they figured, oh, everybody's going to be doing Christmas and nobody's going to respond. And I was I was calming down mm-hmm. before I sat down this weekend and just blasted the living out of them. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, this is all their own doing. Mm-hmm. You know, when Braces first came out, we were sitting at the subgun match some Yahoo came out with one of those and were like, um, that's registered as an SBR, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Well, don't put it up to your damn shoulder then, because then that's an SBR, period. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, ATF said it was okay. <laughs> Get the <laughs> f- out of here. What the <laughs> hell's wrong with those idiots? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, it. they should have just said, no braces. We're going to handle it like we have through the 50s, 60s, 70s. If somebody's disabled, whatever they want to put on the damn gun to help them shoot, we're not even going to worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, and what? so so what are you saying? That, are you trying to say that that's only good for people who are disabled? Or once you allow as, that, as then anyone can use it? As far as I'm concerned, yeah. You're saying it's because, only look, good for I've, people who I've are disabled. I've looked at those things. Mm-hmm. And half of them that people have sent in here, mm-hmm. I mean, my arms are not huge. I don't have Popeye arms, and I can't get them around my arm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, if if I can't get them around my arm, what the hell are they? Mm-hmm. Well, here's my thing. If, um, you know, I if mean, it's good for they're, disabled they're, people, why can't I use it? That's what I say. Why not, can't I use a wheelchair? Disabled. Wheelchairs for a dude who can't walk. But if I want to roll around in a wheelchair, why why can't I do that if I want to? Mm-hmm. Spend your damn money. Mm-hmm. Get an S- I mean, SBRs should there should not be anything yeah. about SBRs. There should all be of no this is, all of yeah. this are infringements. I think See, I'm, yeah, I think I'm Alex for, said I'm it for, already. <laughs> yeah, I'm for anything that if it screws the government over a little bit more and they and they have to confuse themselves, and I'm right. totally okay for it because they created the problem themselves. Now they have to deal with it. Right. That, so that's that's so, just it. They yeah, that's they problem. made the problem. Let them deal with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So whatever loopholes we come up with, it's like, well, you guys screwed it up in the first place. So I don't. That's you can go. Yeah, and screw I mean the yourself. thing is, it it doesn't matter what law the politicians or ATF makes, we're gonna find a way around it. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know the assault weapons ban. Yeah, that was a joke. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. oh, you can't have AR-15s. Okay, it's not an AR-15. It's an AR poop. Mm-hmm. It's an AR-14. Yeah. Here we took the oh. flash hider off of it. Oh. <laughs> or MSR, as a lot of the industry started calling it. What difference oh, yeah. does it make? A rose by yeah. any other name uh, yeah. can still throw bullets at your. Ass. Exactly. You yeah, know? the semantic games that like the gun industry does sometimes drive me nuts because I'm like, are we adults or not? Mm-hmm. Like, just call it what it is. It's a semi-automatic rifle. Like, it, you don't have to give it this marketing guru mm-hmm. name. Everybody knows yeah. what it is. Yeah. By so, the way, your your uh, wife. Yeah. Is My saying, camera's still Why do you look pink? pink? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who knows what's what he's drinking? But we are leaving it like this because when he tried to fix it, it got, everything got crazy. Over yeah, here. we we end up in like some uh, <laughs> some amphitheater somewhere in Rome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a good time. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. So um, I think I, I did share I did share that link. By the way, someone was asking me about the link, and it's up there. Um, I'll just show it once again. This is kind of like probably breaking right now and everybody's out there making videos right now at this moment so if you're joining us the big news here is that the atf looks like they are pulling back on the pistol brace uh thing that they were trying to do (laughs) 
Now they now. better pull back on the eighty percent lower horse. Yeah, I think and I agree. The NFA and the SBRs and yeah. the SBS and yeah. the machine gun, but pull yeah. back on all of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and I think I, I don't know. I think it was maybe um, Rolando that said this is just temporary. I think this is they're just going to do this until mm-hmm. you know we get through the holidays. Maybe uh, Biden gets sworn in, and then we're going to be right back to the nonsense. Yeah. Um, probably the big factor here, though, if someone wants to know what was the factor, I'm going to say that it was those 89 Congress people writing into them, and they were like, yeah. "Oh, yeah, maybe we don't want to." We don't want to they're mess paying, with this one. They're right actually now. paying attention right now, or at least behaving yep. like they are. So we gotta, yeah. we gotta hide yeah. the evidence. Yeah. All of a sudden, they figured, man, man, that's gonna affect our paycheck if Congress gets pissed off yeah. at us. Well, this is what Congress is supposed to do, and this is what I've been trying to tell everyone. I'm not gonna waste my time writing letters begging people for stuff. Congress is supposed to do this, or we shouldn't support them, regardless of what yeah. political affiliations they have. And then, uh, no matter what they do, I'm not gonna comply with their nonsense. So. Whatevs, <laughs> you know, we, if we're going to spend our time and energy doing something, let's like make sure that our local um, our local politicians, starting with your sheriff and stuff like that, are in line with what we believe. You know, I'm down with sanctuary two uh, a sanctuary counties and I've already had the, the guy that put there's a website about that um, to show people where are two a. Uh, sanctuary counties and how to get involved in, in making that happen. You know, I would rather spend more time doing that kind of stuff and dealing with the local things. So if they ever actually try to do this, you know they cannot do it. And then, of course, the politicians are supposed to get up and do what these guys did. That's like just, I'm not even going to, I don't even want to cheer for them and go, oh, you're, su- you're supposed to do that. Mm-hmm. You know? So we'll we'll probably be back here. Okay, who wants to say something about that before we go back to what we should be doing? <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, everyone listening should go figure out how to run for local sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. Just start there. <laughs> yeah. If you've got oh, a good God, local sheriff, support support him as well, you know? I mean, support those people who are who are pushing back against this, man. That's how we do this. If they can't roll into where we live and get this stuff, then that, I know I know this sucks for people that live in communist parts of America like New York, California, you know, some other places out there, but you know. Maybe it'll get them off their butts and being more vocal because it's not enough to just be a gun owner and be like, "Well, they're not going to come for my stuff." I'm mm. I'm holding out all my stuff in Jersey or whatever. Then they kick down your door and you'll be like, mm. oh, I can't believe it happened. It's like, well, dude, what'd you expect was going to happen, man? I'm mm. sorry. Well, like first you had to all, persuade everyone else around you too. They can't, you know, they put a foot on your door and you just start shooting. Well, mm. <laughs> Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.